I'm using a large paper sheet to take out a triangle from it. I'm cutting one side and I'll use it as a template. I'm using white charcoal pencil for it. Once the triangle is out from the leftover templates, I'm going to cut another triangle of same proportion but smaller size. Once the triangles are ready, I'm going to mix some base coat colors. This is white, blue and silver. I was unable to find a large sheet in light color, so I'm going to cover this entirely with the sky blue paint. The interior where this painting is going to be hanged has extremely dark colors and very little light. So I want this painting to be really light and bright. Now I'm just filling the gaps with white paint. And I'm just going to cover the smaller sheet with white paint, the same base coat. And this is a sample. I'm just practicing the main design on my sketchbook before drawing it onto the painting. I've already started the drawing onto the main painting and as you can see the sample has a very dark background because the interior where it's going to be hanged has a black wall again and very dark furniture and everything. And now I'm doing the smaller painting. I'm just doing the drawing right now. And now I have to cover the entire design in white acrylic paint. But then this is going to be covered with glue and lots and lots of glitter. And same I'll do with the smaller painting. I have put glitter and I'm shaking it and I'll take it out onto the newspaper to use it again. And same is the thing that I have to do onto the bigger painting, but this process has to be repeated again and again to get a fine finished effect of glitter onto the design. The rest has to be wiped off. I'm using silver glitter to do some shading. to the bigger painting. I'm using feather to spread the glitter. For the white pebbles I have chosen this white glitter. Let's see how it works. I have mixed black with few colors it's silver and pink they call it rose pink and some skin tone and I'm going to cover the entire branches and background with this color now because the paper has texture in it I would have to smooth the edges afterwards but I just thought that this texture would help to stick the glitter in a better way because it could go onto the glass when it would be framed and we don't want that effect.
Now I can leave the painting over here or I can do a little more but I think I'll do a little more. I am applying silver paint onto these branches. I think this looks better now. Now this was not on the sample but on larger scale we have to add a little more detail. Now to make these pebbles more visible I'm making shadow. And now I'm making shadow of this main design. I'm also filling few gaps because I want to make it more smoother. A little more shading onto the pebbles because they are not too visible. It's always good to see the painting from a distance and you can get the idea of what is more to be done onto it. And same is the thing again that I'm doing onto the smaller painting. Now this is a very important step of my painting process. I need to smooth up all the dry edges, any slip of brush or leakage of paint because this is a textured paper and I have used no water, I have applied acrylic paints directly. I'm using white over here and not the background color because I want to smooth the edges and make the dark shadows and dark branches more prominent at the same time. I'm going to cover the area of the sheet where there were thumb pins with white acrylic paint. And now I'm going to cover the gaps left between the glitter with blue metallic acrylic paint. I have mixed black and rose pink of Mary's colors into the same blue metallic acrylic paint to make another tone and this I'm going to apply into few gaps and on few shadows. I'm going to cover these gaps with silver color and onto the lines as well I'm going to apply it. This will give it more like a globe kind of an effect to the central object. Now I'm adding few colors onto the branches. I have mixed deep rose red color into blue metallic paint. And with these few last touches of color onto the branches, I think the painting is complete now. And I'm satisfied now.